Let's talk about temperature. Temperature is the most important factor when cooking a steak, so it's vital that we arrive to the right one. Some experts can tell by pressing into their palm, but unless you're cooking hundreds of steaks a day, I don't think that's a viable option for the everyday cook. So that's why I use thermometers. You can use an instant read one where you just plug it in every few minutes just to check the temperature, or you can use the ones that you leave in the steak where it gives you a display showing you the live temperature reading or the ones that send the readings to your phone. If you're searing your steak first, I would cook it to about 20 to 25 degrees under your desired temp to allow for carryover cooking. But if you're doing a reverse sear or searing at the end like we're doing today, I would cook it to about 10 to 15 degrees under your desired temp. I'm just going to season my steak with salt, pepper, and garlic powder and into the oven it goes. And once we reach about 120 internal, we're going to pull it out and give it a quick hot sear on both sides and that's about it. Let's see what we got here. Oh yes, that's beautiful. Cheers. Master your temperature and you'll have perfect steak every time.